been using and loving is sea moss. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are you using sea moss? There are a lot of health benefits to sea moss. You can add it to really anything. I have the purple sea moss and the original sea moss. So the first one that I have is the purple sea moss. You can see it's a really pretty purple color. This is actually the sea moss that I'll be using in my breakfast this morning. And then I have the traditional gel sea moss. This one's a little bit of a beige color. So you're probably wondering, what is sea moss? Why are you taking it? I wanna tell you guys all about the benefits of it, the origin, and then I'm gonna show you how I typically take it, and that is in a smoothie. You can really add it to anything. There are recipes you can make with it, including guacamole and soups and acai bowls. You can even take it all by itself. So for hundreds of years, sea moss has been used for medicinal purposes. In fact, the name came about because it was often used as a source of nutrients and food during the Irish potato famine of the 1800s. It's a type of red algae, a seaweed basically. So this seaweed has been long applauded as a superfood. It's found in the shores of the North Atlantic, surrounding Ireland, Europe, and North America. The Herbal Vineyards brand, which is the purest form of sea moss, actually sources their sea moss from the Caribbean waters of St. Lucia. How fun is that, that this came from St. Lucia? It comes in various colors, shapes, and sizes, but all of the different sea moss variations have the same nutritional value as long as the superfood is 100% wild crafted and not farm raised. Now, Herbal Vineyards, it says right here, is wild crafted. So this particular sea moss isn't farm raised, so it's going to be the highest quality that you can get. And not to mention, one thing I love about the herbal vineyards is it's raw and it's organic. So some of the benefits of sea moss is it can supply our bodies with nutrients. It's really nutrient dense. It's a superfood. It has 92 of the 110 minerals the body is made from containing beta carotene, vitamin B, vitamin C, and sulfur, as well as minerals like magnesium, manganese, calcium, phosphorus, and zinc. It can strengthen our immune system. It also has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties, which is something that you know is really important to me because I do suffer from inflammation. It can provide nourishment to the skin. It can improve cell growth and your metabolism. And it also releases amino acids that are essential for protein and collagen synthesis. And we know how important collagen is for hair, skin, nails, and skin elasticity. It can also improve your emotional health. It's been known as a mood booster. All of the minerals play a key role in your brain function. And when we're feeling low or a little more crankier than usual, adding sea moss is a big indicator of that phasing out. There are a lot of benefits to sea moss. Number one, and one of the main reasons why I've incorporated the herbal vineyard sea moss into my life is because it has been known to increase thyroid function. And you know that I suffer from an underactive thyroid. So if I can increase my thyroid function, I am all about it. It contains diiodothiamine, which is actually something that's deficient in people that have thyroid issues. So it contains that nutrient that helps boost your thyroid. It also regulates your metabolism, digestion, and mood. It also helps improve your energy levels by providing B vitamins. I actually take a B12 vitamin every day. So the fact that this has those same properties in it can eliminate one supplement from my daily dose. And really important, sea moss actually helps regulate a healthy weight. It contains high levels of iodine, which is really, really important for weight loss. It helps boost your metabolism, regulate your thyroid. Both of those contribute greatly to whether or not you're able to lose weight. And it also helps you build lean, str lean strong muscles and helps with heart health. So there are so many health benefits with sea moss. And like I said, by adding it to a smoothie or making it in a super guacamole, you don't taste it at all, but you still reap all of the rewards. I start with one tablespoon as I get used to implementing this supplement more into my diet. So maybe after the two week mark, I'll go ahead and up it to two tablespoons and then slowly increase it to the recommended dosage. So I really, really like this product. It's a newer supplement to me. Like I said, I've been using it just under a couple of weeks, but I really, really am enjoying it. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you guys with a discount code. Highly recommend Herbal Vineyards after lots and lots of research because this is wild crafted raw and organic. It's the creme de la creme of sea moss on the market. So if you're looking for a new supplement to add to boost your thyroid, help with inflammation and boost weight loss, definitely check out Herbal Vineyards. Look how sweet she is. Every time I'm working in my office, she is always in here with me. Lola, you cozy baby. 
Hi, honey. Hi, baby girl. I love that she stays in here with me. Sorry if you can hear the blower in the background. Troy's outside blowing the yard. I made this tuna fish the other day. It's just a can of tuna, some light mayo, and some sweet relish. And I need to finish it off. There's about half of the can of tuna left. So I'm going to have them with the Sonoma Cheddar Crisp. I actually bought these at TJ Maxx. They're really good. And I'm having a Reese's Zero Sugar for dessert. I don't know, it just sounds really, really good. I'm just going to have one of these. So that's going to be my lunch. So while I eat my lunch, just quickly, I wanted to share with you guys why I'm using these cheddar crisps here instead of regular crackers with my tuna. I shared on my Instagram that I was having some stomach issues, like some digestive issues. I ended up actually having to go to urgent care and get some antibiotics. I think I had some type of bacterial growth or something in my stomach. Carbs really made it worse. So anytime I would eat really any carbs, it would just flare it up. Now I've been on my antibiotics for a few days, so chances are that wouldn't be the case now. So I ended up buying these to eat with my tuna fish instead of carbs. So I wanted to finish them off and I want to make sure that I get through my seven days of antibiotics before I really introduce a lot more carbohydrates. I did have one of these Reese's peanut butter cups last night. That didn't affect me at all, but that's why I'm eating it on these cheese crisps instead of regular crackers. crackers. And I will say these cheese crisps, they are incredibly delicious. Super, super good. So I'm definitely feeling better, but I just wanted to let you know why I'm choosing these over crackers. It's yard work day. Troy's picking up all the poop and then he sprays our turf off with some water so that it's not stinky and it gets rid of anything else. He's also going to be spraying some weeds in the front and backyard. Now that everything is in bloom, we're definitely getting a lot more weeds than we did when we first moved in. I did pick all the lemons on my lemon tree so they're completely gone. And this is actually blooming too, which is really, really pretty. This tree right here, uh, we're taking that out because it's dead, unfortunately. We didn't realize that it was completely dead. You can push on it and it moves. And then the vines on the wall are growing really well. And these bushes over here on our house have grown a ton since we moved in. Everything's grown a ton. And then this tree right here, whatever kind of tree it is, we think we're gonna remove it too since it's so close to the house and this whole limb over here is dead as well for some reason. So we're considering taking that out too. Do you have the zoomies? This dog gets the zoomies every day, sometimes multiple times a day, where he'll like run in, run out, he runs circles, he's crazy. Let Lola out, Lola! It is afternoon snack time and I am craving something lemony. So I'm gonna have my two good lemon, or Meyer lemon yogurt. I love this yogurt, I love everything lemon. I mean, could have two lemon trees in my backyard be suited for anyone better than for me. So I'm definitely going to have my Meyer lemon yogurt and then I'm going to put two tablespoons of the Safe and Fair birthday cake granola right on top for that extra crunch. My nut stop order is here. You guys know how much I absolutely love nut stop. I just placed a huge order now that we've moved to restock the pantry. So I want to show you guys what I picked up. I will make sure that I link my favorite nut stop products down below for you guys with a discount code. So definitely take advantage of that so that you can order from their website. And one great thing about Nutstop is it is a small business and all of their products come in one pound packages. So you get a whole pound of whatever you purchase from them for a really affordable price. They have everything from trail mix, nuts, seeds, baking, candy, you name it, they have it. So let me show you what I grabbed. First is this trail mix. You guys know I've been on a big trail mix kick lately. I really like it because nuts are so great for weight loss. They're a healthy fat protein source. So this is the Super Supreme 
mix. It has peanuts, raisins, sunflower seeds, soybeans, almonds, and then some sunflower oil. So I thought that that would be a really good snack. I also like to put trail mix and things on my yogurt. Also, speaking of snacks, you can see I was in a snacky mood when I placed this order. I did grab their toasted corn. So these are their giant toasted corn nuts. So basically like corn nuts, but big size. So again, I thought a really quick, simple snack. Another trail mix. I couldn't pass this one up. It sounded so good. This is the cranberry trail mix. And there's cranberries, raisins, sunflower seeds, raw soybeans, banana chips, and peanuts of a little bit of sugar and some sunflower oil. So again, trail mix vibes all day here. And then another thing I love putting on my yogurt is granola. You guys know I like that for a nice crunch. So I just grabbed their traditional granola. One of my favorite nuts and one of the healthiest nuts great for weight loss are pistachios. So these are the roasted salted pistachios. I like to get mine in the shell because it takes me longer to eat them. I can easily pop in a whole handful of the pistachio nut, but this way I take my time eating them and actually enjoy them. My husband loves black licorice, so I did grab the licorice all sorts. So this is just a mixture of those fun black licorice themed pieces. I just think they're so pretty, especially to put out on a candy jar on the counter. And another nut that we both love are cashews. So these are the roasted salted cashews. Again, Again, nuts, a great, great snack choice. And what they do with anything that is perishable, so chocolate or anything, it comes in this nice refrigerated bag. So the first thing in the refrigerated bag are the sea salt caramel drops. So basically these are sea salt little chocolate chips. And I thought, again, great for baking, great for adding to homemade trail mix, topping yogurt. They're tiny little chips, so you can have a lot of them for the points and calories. And then I thought that I would try one of their sugar-free chocolates. I've actually never tried them. So these are the sugar-free chocolate peanuts. And I thought if I was going to do chocolate, I would do chocolate with nuts because that way it's a little bit more balanced of a snack. I, again, I haven't tried their sugar-free. I'm hoping that it doesn't upset my stomach. Just some artificial sweeteners do, but I wanted to give it a try. And for Troy and myself, I did grab the yogurt peanuts. I thought that these would be another great sweet treats and a great snack because again, you have the peanut and the yogurt coating. I also picked up the sugar-free chocolate cashew. I thought you can't go wrong with chocolate and cashews together. As I mentioned, they're one of our very favorite nuts. And then last but certainly not least are the dark chocolate drops. Again, a great chip for baking and for snacking and dark chocolate is just a little bit healthier for you than milk chocolate. So that is my nut stop order. I did end up getting quite a few things. I'm really excited. You guys know I love Nutstop. I love supporting a small business. Don't forget, I will link it down below with some of my favorite items and 10% off for you so that you can go over to their website and do some shopping. For dinner tonight, I'm making a one pan pizza chicken. I'm really excited for this. Lots and lots of protein in this recipe. And we're going to pair that with some roasted potatoes. And then I'm going to roast up some fresh organic green beans, organic mushrooms and organic zucchini. We have all this produce in our fridge from my Imperfect Foods box, so we're going to go ahead and use it all up. And then here's what you'll need for the pizza chicken. Minced garlic, mozzarella cheese, turkey pepperoni, marinara sauce of your choice. I'm using up the rest of the Rayos that I used in my recipe video that went live last Sunday. Fresh basil, salt, pepper, and of course some chicken. So the first thing I'm going to do is dice everything up. So I'm going to dice up some potatoes, my zucchini, chop the ends off of my green beans, and then wash up my mushrooms. Get these on a sheet pan and into a 425 degree oven to start roasting while we start making the pizza chicken. So the first thing I want to do is get my potatoes in just because they take the longest. So I'm going to drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil right over the top. And one of you suggested putting putting the buttery steakhouse seasoning on potatoes and vegetables. So I have this from Costco. I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm actually really excited to try this out. So I'm going to season my potatoes with the buttery steakhouse blend. I'm going to pop the potatoes into the oven and then we'll chop up the zucchini and the green beans. Go ahead and spray your skin 
skillet with some non-stick cooking spray. We're going to add our chicken. I'm using chicken tenderloins, but you could use chicken breast or chicken thighs. And then we're going to season it with some salt and pepper and allow it to cook completely through. It should take about four to six minutes. When your chicken is just about done cooking, I'm going to add some minced garlic and allow that to get fragrant. I have a little over half of a jar of my Rayos marinara. I'm going to add that right on top of the chicken. Add your torn fresh basil. Allow that to simmer until the marinara starts to warm through and your chicken will finish cooking at this point as well. Then we're going to add 24 pieces of turkey pepperoni. Allow it to simmer over medium heat for about five minutes. Last thing we're going to do is add one cup of light shredded mozzarella to the top and allow that to melt. Pizza chicken is done. This looks so incredibly delicious. I am going to plate this up along with the roasted potatoes and vegetables, and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is dinner for tonight. So I have one serving of the pizza chicken, roasted potatoes, mushrooms, green beans, and zucchini. Lots and lots of veggies in tonight's dinner. I will put points, calories, serving size, everything here on the screen for the pizza chicken. So here's dessert for tonight. I'm going to have one of my Yasso mint poppables. These are incredible, by the way. If you can score the poppables, highly recommend. The mint chocolate, 10 out of 10. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today for all of my food throughout the day, that dinner recipe million out of 10. So, so good. You'll find that on my website. I'll link that down below for you. I'll also link Nutstop, Herbal Vineyards, so you can get your hands on the sea moss. Anything else I share with you today will all be linked down in that description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join us on Facebook. We would love to have you over there as well. Happy Wednesday, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.